My, my name is Dr. Dorian. I'm from uh, Tel Aviv and I'm the head of Zaga Center Tel Aviv. And I uh, had the privilege to be invited to teach and instruct together Dr. Dikuma and Dr. Carlo Aparicio uh, and take part in this uh, extraordinary course. My name is Dr. Samantha Rajkumar. I'm director for Zaga Center Central and I'm here for the 40 uh, Zaga Center had a very course. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the many years. I was very, very pleased with the fidelity of the course. The participants range from all over the world. It was uh, an amazing experience just to talk to people, to understand what it was like in their countries, and to find out what their teaching needs were. I learned a lot myself from the course today due to Dr. Thank you, Abhi. Thank you, Kumar. Um, um, uh, this is Carlos Aparicio. I'm uh, here um, learning from the, those two colleagues and also for the participants. Yeah. I think uh, every time we run a course, the, the ones that are learning the more are participants, um, they are raising questions and make you think you know, what are you doing this or why are you doing that. So at the end, it's, it's always a pleasure. Uh, it's also very uh, satisfying. Uh, I think I feel like a, a, really a privilege when we see the participants the first day, the, the faces they have the first day that are like they are hesitant in faces. Yeah, you see, you see them. Uh, yeah, well, what I'm going to receive here, uh, I came from far away, from Australia, from uh, Indonesia, from the US, overseas. Yeah, then uh, they don't know whether they are going to get back home. You see, as I said, this, those hesitant faces, and then in the afternoon, we start seeing some smiles. And then the second day, you see many more smiles. And then uh, you see also the progression on the hands on the first day, and the errors. And it's nice when we teach them, um, we let them make errors because they are here to, for, for, for that, just to, to fail on the attention. And then the second day, say, oh, I did this yesterday, today I'm a little bit better. And the third day, so it's really a progression. And then the, the, the funny thing or the nice thing is that they can self-evaluate themselves, the, the progression, so they can see the, what they did the first day, yeah, and then the second is better, and this today, this is the cadaver day, and this is like the uh, third. And uh, finally, uh, we say that they have understood this is not about carpentry, this is not about making holes, and we uh, agree, it's about doing our treatment planning and executing this treatment plan. I don't know what are your opinions about. I think that uh, one of the most important things, that there are several important things that uh, this course is completely different from other courses and I've been and I've teach a lot of courses. First of all, the structure is extremely, extremely close to and fidel and, and identical to the clinical situation. This great opportunity to do model surgery and then take the model in the cut of a session and to have one-to-one -one the same thing it's a great value for the patients because they they treat almost the, the real patients first of all second which is not not the second but the whole team is very fluent and it is almost zero accidents or problems so everything is very smooth and very uh, very nice. Uh, it's a course where the level of the profession is that it's met by us bringing here people with a very high level with a lot of knowledge and there were here people that placed a lot of zygomatic implants and suddenly they said oh probably I should think different because it's not something that I've done it's exactly the same feeling that I had so I can relate with that and this is, I think, one of the most, most intensive and great courses that someone can, can come and learn and be part of this circle. This is another thing that it's important. You do a course, they say bye-bye, 
how you advance this connect. But here being Ranga Circle being able to approach to the people that were here, participants and mentors, it's a great key of success in the future generation, I think, of surgeons. So I think there are some special parts of this course which need to be highlighted. The course actually starts before they actually come to Barcelona and there's a lot of pre-reading they do and they actually have to evaluate a patient. And this is not seen in any of the courses I and I've done a lot of these courses. And I would say in terms of uh, confidence they get when they come, they've already seen images, they know what to expect. And because they've seen the images, they need to prepare and they actually come prepared with good theory. Versus coming to a course and expecting to have spoon fed. This course is structured for self-learning and self-evaluation. And the quality of the cadaveric uh, patients that we had, they have to treat the patients with respect from the first point they dress them by name. It's quite special. And the quality of the cadaveric uh, dissections, it's just like a real thing. And uh, it's, it's I, mean, I did cadaveric courses before in the past and it was really, this is different level of uh, quality levels. And it's also a very, good sort of ratio, so it's two of them to one cadaveric hit. Some courses it's four, three, uh, and of course there's excuses for retraction. I saw one just now who was doing it on his own and he was able to do placement of zygotic implants, perigoid implants, Bichette's fat pad, all the connective tissue graphs he wanted to play around with, and he feels confident. And as uh, Dr. Aparicio said, they come into this game. But today I saw him really happy. They were confident, they want to go back and do it, and I think you'll we'll, we'll see them again in the future. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's true. Uh, I forgot to say that, and I think it's a very interesting point. The course starts in not the day here, essentially, but it starts a couple of months before. So they have to prepare, they receive the natural images of these patients, so they have to be study and have the opportunity to prepare everything. It's challenging also for the mentors, I can tell you, because being so prepared, they came with very strong questions that some, sometimes they put our brains to work. And uh, I've learned also, each time I, I, I approach somebody, I learn another thing, and I am put an emphasis on me that it's important for me and for them. And I think that this interaction with such high Real the professional is just amazing and I never met something like that. So can I say that there's a, a large amount of specialists, maxillofacial surgeons on this course who perhaps had done it before and were I'm not saying uh, they were embarrassed or humiliated, but they really felt that they needed to take a step back and look at the principles and fundamentals again. And it's surprising how many of them, even I'm teaching, I'm not a maxillofacial surgeon, I'm a general dentist. We have general dentists with periodontists, with max specs, and all of them come today to learn the fundamentals of Zaga and how to do proper treatment planning and execution. And I will say that I think from what I've seen, there were no stragglers. Everyone has done the basic requirements to leave the course knowing that they have actually been certified with a diploma and that they can actually do all the right. exact medical things. I have a remarkable effect, especially regarding influence because I'm in this field quite a lot. A lot of times we, we lose the sense of doing it and building the concept. We start to do our own ways and we start to be like a little bit of cowboys because we are alone. And I think the greatness of this circle, the greatness of Dr. Aparicio is that we structured a thing that now it's evidence-based. We can look at the things, we can evaluate the things about our work, about the outcome of the patients, which otherwise, you know, it's loose. You go to the home, you do whatever you want. But here, you want to build this structure, which hopefully will gain more and more popularity. And this will improve our quality of what we work and the quality of life of our patients. Thank you. Thank you.